welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me on this video where I go to a local shop bar and enjoy some delicious food. Yes, yes, yes. So it's lunchtime. In fact, it's <laughs> it's past lunchtime. It's well into the afternoon. It's four o'clock and I've just finished a few things around the house and I'm going to go and have some lunch. Initially, I wanted to go to Rosé Garden because it's very pretty, it's very cute, you know, it's Instagrammable, it's all of this, it's all of that. And then I said to myself, wait, why am I going there? So I looked at the videos and I said to myself, I don't want to go there. I don't want to go there. Why? Because authentically, I am not a hype person. I don't follow the hype. So I said to myself, what would I rather do? Like, what would I rather show people? And what I love doing is going to local spots and enjoying delicious food at half the price. Yes, you heard me right, guys. I love going to local spots, enjoying delicious, bountiful food. Let's, let's start with that. At half the price. Yes, so that's what I'm gonna do. That's authentically me. I'm not going to force myself to go out of the way to do something that is gorgeous and I would love to do, but if I'm in the area, you know, if I go to Osu and I'm chilling for lunch, yes, Rose Garden by all means, because I'm already there. However, I'm not in Osu, so why am I taking myself to Osu to go and get some lunch when I can just go and get lunch down the road? Like, mm, mm, mm. you see? So enough of the talk, enough of the explanation. Let's just go and have some food because I'm a little bit hungry. I only had cocoa this morning. <laughs> Let's go. So this is what I'm going to experience today. It's 31 degrees outside. It's just so beautiful. You see this? So I'm in the Teshinungwa estate. It's south of Accra. It's, it's east of Labadi. And it's just so beautiful. It's very windy today. And my dress is blowing in the wind. Just blowing in the wind. <laughs> However, it has an underlayer. Now I'm thinking I should wear a like some shorts underneath it because the way it's blowing could show my whole body to the world and I'm not prepared for that. Uh-uh. Mm -mm. Uh-uh. I'll wear some shorts underneath. <laughs> Let's go. So where I'm going to go, I'm going to show you from here. It's so local that it's actually just over there behind that um, that green building so just there the dark green roof it's called the ultimate pub and bar and that's where the food should be and that's where I'm going so let's go guys this is proper Marilyn do you see this the way the skirt is blowing up like <laughs> This is not good. I'm going to change. I'm going to wear some shorts underneath because I really cannot leave the house with everything just vacating to the wind. No chance. So let me go change and I'll go eat. Let's go. So I'm just walking down the road. I have to drop my laptop off to be fixed. And I was just walking in. Look, there's an Indomie place. You can buy plain rice with stew. All of this is local. You see, you've got the fried chicken, you've got your fish, you've got everything there. All of that is local. And it's literally a five minute, it's not even five minutes walk, it's a two minute walk from the house. So why would I pay 30 cities to go all the way somewhere else when I can just buy it there? And you know where the music is playing? That's also a restaurant. I don't know how well you can see me. Okay, not too bad. But I'm walking down the road now. I've handed in my laptop, so I'm hands-free. 
and from our conversation as he heard he told me that the price is nothing that I can't afford judging by the hair that I've done <laughs> it's nothing that I can't afford hmm if I go back and it's more than 30 cities I'll tell him I can't afford it because my hair was 30 cities because <laughs> I did it myself so but that's that's gonna be everything's relaxed that's why you have to be even more careful because things are so relaxed that if you're not careful, you might get cheated out of your money. But there's just the way that you vibe with people, the way that you talk to them. You can ask for discounts as well freely, especially in the markets. You can ask for discounts. So just be bold, be free to discuss prices because a lot of the times people are willing to reduce their price, even if it's by five cities or buy two cities, or buy one city, it's still a reduction. And they almost anticipate some kind of animal. <laughs> and they almost anticipate you. Hold on, I think it's a bee. I'm gonna keep walking. Wee! Hold on. <laughs> I can hear it, but ah! I just hope it's not in my hair. I think it's gone. <laughs> I don't mind bees. I just don't want to be stung, you know? It's not that I mind them, I just don't want to be stung. Hold on. Let me just get... So as I was saying, it's almost like people anticipate that you will bargain with them because that's just the culture in Ghana. People bargain for everything. So it's almost anticipated that you'll bargain with them. Oh look, there's ah, oh, you see. I'm just gonna turn it around so you guys can see that there's no need to pay so much to go to places that are just far away. <laughs> oh guys, so that's actually really affordable. So like he had. The Banco's two cities. Hold on, let me go somewhere shady and explain this. It's information. I have to explain it to you. <laughs> Let's go somewhere shady. Okay. Right. So the Banco is two cities per ball. And the way they price it in Ghana is that you buy your Banco. You can have four Banco balls, whatever. So it's two cities each. And then you have your meat. So the meat, the beef is three cities. The yemadie, which is intestines. So it will be cow intestines like trowel. That is also four cities. And then the kutudri, which is kneecap. <laughs> That's basically what it is. So it's pork, um, pork knee, par contra. That's what we call it in, in, in fancy, like par contra. But they call it kutudri, which is basically the same thing. So that's four cities. So if you buy one beef, one intestine, and one pork knee, <laughs> so that's eight, 11 cities, and then Banku for each two cities. So that's either 13 cities or 15 cities. So for 15 cities, you can have two balls of Banku with one type of meat each. How incredible. Whereas if I, and that will fill you up, like that is a whole meal. But if you go to some restaurants, the same meal is being sold for 55 cities, 60 cities. And this is in Takrade, right? If you go to a hotel, for example, the same meal is being sold for that price. So you just have to be really, really careful where you go to eat your food because I'm not here to live a lavish lifestyle. I love luxury and I love money and I love everything expensive and quality. I'm quality driven. However, quality can be found in various places and just because something is more affordable doesn't mean it's also for great quality, especially when it comes to food in Ghana because a lot of these local chop bars, they make their food on the daily. They make their food on the spot. Hello! You cannot check it if your parcel is on me. Oh, I completely forgot. Yeah, you can forget. Ah, sorry. Thank you so much. Okay, I'll just pause this. I'm just gonna 
the guy who fixes the laptop is here. <laughs> I'm recording over here. <laughs> so I'm just gonna give him my password and then I will get back to you guys. Guys, I it's all done. I gave him my password and my number as well, just in case anything happened, he can contact me. I'm just on my way to this ultimate bar and grill. Hold on, that's not the place. This is the ultimate gym. Oh my goodness, this is not where I'm going. It's going to be a bit of a walk then. I might have to go on Google Maps. <laughs> Let's see. Oh no, it's right next to it actually. It's not far at all. Coconuts, fresh coconuts being sold, guys. And this is the road. So that's the gym there that my cousin goes to. And I have to say a big shout out to my cousin because he's actually letting me stay in his place for a little while whilst I explore Accra so I'm very grateful to him he's been in my other videos my one month video it's a little bit loud <laughs> he's been in my one month video so you've seen his face since Raymond but I'm so grateful to him because otherwise I will not be able to explore Accra freely like I am now so this is the ultimate bar and restaurant I'm just gonna go and see their prices and if I don't like their prices I'll just go back to where I was and have it there. Oh, no. <laughs> What's my name now, from Oh that would be the station one send yeah. Oh from there and fire fan my time. Hey man <laughs> That was so funny. The ladies were basically telling me or asking me Am I going to, am I taking the picture? And if I am, then I should drop some money for them because <laughs> they will like the money as well. So that was really funny. That's, you know that Ghanaian vibe, just like lightheartedness. I love it. So let's go inside and see this restaurant. It's honestly so relaxing. I'm just making my way there. It's not far at all. It's literally just there. And the breeze is so lovely. It's 29 degrees now and you just can't even feel it because one, if acclimatized to the weather and two, this sweet breeze just blowing by me. So lush. So this is my spot, right by the tape. Oh man, for Chamadasi. Oh lovely, so the wife are clean for you. Lovely. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh then pardon in to me. Nasty. And look at that beautiful green.
also making my way. It's literally been about an hour, but the sun's already gone down. Around six, you, you'll be rest assured that it's sunset in Ghana, everywhere in Ghana. Hey guys, okay, so I'm back home. It's nighttime in Teshinuwa, as you can tell from the background. There's a real cloud, guys. No CGI, there's a real cloud. I'm gonna duck down so you see. <laughs> but I'm back home. I am full from my banku, and I only got that for 15 cities, which is a very, very much affordable. The whole meal, so my meal, my club was 8 cities and my cousin's was 15 cities as well. So that's 8 cities for two full meals, packed with meat and one club, all just down the road. As opposed to spending 27 or 30 cities to get to Rosé Garden and then spending another 20 or 30 cities there and then another 30 cities back. You see, 90 cities could have gone to waste, whereas I just got everything I needed straight down the road. No transport needed. I'm very happy and very satisfied. I couldn't really record a lot where I was eating because you can hear the background noise and it is copyrighted music. Now I can speak more about my experience because I'm at home and there isn't that much music playing. So, firstly, the whole atmosphere as you can tell, when I first walked in, initially when I was going to even inquire about the food, the lady there was super lovely, her customer service was impeccable, she looked at me a bit wary, like she was a bit wary of me, however, after she spoke to me and she realised that I was new, I was there to buy her food, she warmed up a little bit, she heard the fancy and then she just laughed and we just had a good time. And when I came back to eat, she recognized me from before. I had a laugh with the people there. And we just kind of settled into that kind of customer and you know service relationship. So I sat down, she came to serve me. The service was super quick, efficient, and sweet. She remembered what I wanted. I told her again, just in case. And then she provided the food for me. Hot, the meat was a bit chewy but the yim, <laughs> you might say the intestines were soft, fatty, delicious, and the travel as well was soft, so that was so good. The okra stew was a bit spicy, you can see me coughing in the video. It's a little bit spicy, but I love that. It wasn't overwhelming, and this was slimy, like any good opera stew or soup should be. The banku was perfect size actually. Initially, I thought it would be a bit too small because they were literally like smaller than my hand, whereas I've seen banku as big as my, like my palm. However, they were perfect, so I got two. After I finished the banku and the soup and the meat, I was super full and I still am now. And with the club on top of that, I was sorted. So I was very satisfied with my experience. I'm so happy that I didn't have to pay crazy amounts just to go and enjoy some good, good food. And I'm just thrilled that I allowed myself to be who I was and who I am and stay true to my nature. And it turned out really well for me. I've had an, I've had an amazing day, fantastic, thrilling, incredible, all those words in my day. And I'm home now, I need to do some editing, I need to relax, fix my laptop tomorrow and just chill for the evening because why not? Why not? <laughs> Have a wonderful day guys, I'll see you in my next video. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe if you like this content, like it if you like the content. Share it with anyone you think will find this interesting. And if you have any video ideas, put them down below. But I'll read all your comments, reply to them, and also make those videos. Thank you. <laughs> have a wonderful day, guys. Sayonara. Bye.